Jackson Radio Show. Trigger warning for leftists, but apparently blacks won out of their democratic crap holes because they now cotton to Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, cotton. That's an old term, meaning they like him. <laughs> I used it intentionally. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It's the Kevin Jackson Show. KJRadio.com. You can also call the show at 844-551-8255. Not one, folks, but two polls, two new polls show President Trump has rising support amongst the black community. And the leftist, you're not going to admit this publicly. You're not going to hear this on CNN. Don Lemon will not tell you this. But the left are panicked. They have no place to go they must be panicked because they ginned up a bunch of nonsense about donald trump being a racist and then the president doubles his support from among blacks wow i just want you to consider that they for how long how long have we talked about trump being a racist now we are in year two of trump is a racist prior to that nobody said it in fact the man has gotten awards he got some kind of a He's standing there with Rosa Parks and getting an award for his what he's done in the black community. This has been, you know, I don't know, two or three decades ago. The left want to forget that past. Do they? You think they want to harken back to when Trump stood with Rosa Parks and a couple of other black leaders and got an award for what he had done in the black community? Do you think anybody's going to analyze the number of blacks that Donald Trump employed uh, in his businesses and what their roles were? And and how many other blacks he's helped? The money that he that people talk about, he sent to Haiti. Uh, who was it? Rand Paul. Rand Paul said, "When I went to go to Haiti to to do eye surgeries, Donald Trump stepped up, donated money for my trip. Period. End of story. Not even questioning it." And let me ask you this: Do you think people aren't aware of this? How many blacks do you think went? I mean, there's a lot that that don't like Donald Trump because they're idiots. They've been trained. They might as well be trained seals or monkeys, whatever you want to call them. I know it's going to make some people mad. I don't care. But they're trained to believe the nonsense of the left. They haven't thought about whether Trump. Look, you can not like Trump for a lot of reasons. Oh, he's a rich guy. I don't like rich people. OK, fine. But to say he's a racist, that's just idiotic. There's not an ounce of proof. Not an ounce. So it's ridiculous, but that's what they do. So they've they've suddenly two years ago, give or take, Uh, Donald Trump became a racist. They put all this stuff against him. And you know what happened? He won. All the cries of racism. Anyway, according to The Atlantic, among black men, Trump's 2017 average approval rating significantly exceeded his 2016 vote share. The article now points to 23% of black men approve of Trump's performance and 11% of black women. On average, they say, Trump's uh, support among blacks is 17% on average versus 8% that he scored in the 2016 exit polls. Let me tell you, that is DEFCON 1 for the left. At the time of the 2016 exit polls in November, Trump had 13% support among black men. And four support, four percent support among black women. So let's look at those numbers. He's doubled his support. His support among black women is now at eleven percent. It's almost triple. His support among black men went from thirteen uh, percent to twenty-three percent. Three more percentage points, and he would double that. He is a an average of seventeen percent. I want you to think about. He's got double, more than double, the black support that he has. Run your election, Oprah. Run in this election, Hillary, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. Go for it. The left is no longer going to be fooled, and the black left is starting to get it. Look, these are not overwhelming numbers, but I got some more news for you. Poll was based on a cumulative analysis of 605,000 people. Ironically, conducted by Survey Monkey. <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised that the left even let that get out. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Yeah, yeah, now you get it. <laughs> Delayed laugh. Okay, n- n- they call it, we call that wit lag. Yeah, Survey Monkey conducted this. <laughs> this <laughs> this uh, survey. You know, so look, 
in case you don't believe it, let's look at the CBS poll. The CBS poll showed similar support for of blacks for Trump, reporting that 18 percent of blacks now support President Trump. So it was 17 percent average and one 18 percent in this one. But I looked at it because I wanted to get an idea of the numbers and only 41 percent of blacks were firmly against President Trump, saying he's a racist. I just said, I want nothing to do with him. And that's your typical base, no matter what. When you start an election, you give everybody 40 percent and everybody else fights for the 20 because that's just look on the conservative side. We're smart. We're right. The 40 percent of the morons on the left, they're just trained monkeys. You know, they they do whatever they want. You throw them a banana and they go, "Okay, thank you. And they walk away. So that's that. You're not going to do anything with them. They're getting free money. They love government. You're not going to change them. But here's the, the deal monolithically blacks have voted overwhelmingly Democrat. And now you're beginning to see that there, let me just put it this way. If Donald Trump somehow gets 40% of blacks that, that just go, you know what? I'm sick of these other guys over there. Katie bar the door. It's over. And the left know this. That's why DACA was so important. That's why letting these illegals in is so important. They have absolutely rung the, you know how you have a ring of towel and you, there's a few more drops, you know, and you just keep squeezing it and twisting it, you know, just trying to get it. They, there's no more drops to get out of the towel. The only thing you can do now is just kind of let it dry on its own because you can't squeeze any more out. 41% of, of blacks are firmly against the president, which means 59% are willing to give him a chance. I honestly can't imagine how Democrats feel after evaluating the information that is in the report that I read. You talk about a swift kick to your nether nether regions. This was it. Here was question number two, just to give you an example. If you could give the State of the Union, which comes closer to how you would describe things, is this country better than it was a year ago, worse than it was a year ago, the same as it was a year ago? 35% said better. 21% said same. So for all intents and purposes, 56% say, you know, we're okay. 43% said worse. So, and I don't know where the other uh, 1% went, but that's what the the CBS thing said. So here's what it means. Essentially 35% of black folks, 35% believe they are better off under the white Republican rich president, 21% said it's roughly the same. And 43% are holdouts stuck in the Afro dashiki platform shoe wearing era. That, okay, fine. Keep those. Keep that 40 something percent. Donald Trump has almost 60% of the black folks that are now looking at him and going, huh? Hmm. And I'm going to tell you something. I believe more black people voted for Trump than people are telling you, number one. And I know for a fact he's winning black folks over. Think about it. 35% of the people better off. Do you believe Trump could get 35% of blacks in the next election? Not to go all Sarah Palin on you, but you betcha. (laughs) So the question is, why the shift? Do I really need to answer this? Positive results. President Trump, outside of this, this MLK thing, saying, you know, the black vote, the black, whatever, I forget, I don't even speech was, I, I was on TV talking about it, but here's the thing, no matter, President Trump is not going to pander to blacks in terms of the economy. Well, we'll see, we, he's just going to go out and do what he does. He's just going to deliver. And because blacks are historically the underclass, thank you, Democrats. We are the ones who benefit most from Trump's results. Thus, black unemployment has dropped. I think they said to record low since they started keeping records. And this is particularly because the illegals find life so much more difficult in Trump's America. They've had to go home. These jobs can now go back to black teens. They can go to young black men who want to start their careers. And here's the thing about working. It builds esteem, and that's what is being reflected in these new polls. And that's why the men 
are more impactful right now than the women. But let me tell you something. Black women are beginning to get it. They are going. I think black women are going to finally say of Donald Trump, this guy is our guy. This is our man right here. Both the New York Times and the Washington Post both had articles that essentially said the same thing. Look, this economy is so helping blacks. Here, think about what happened year one, what he was able to accomplish and how it lifted things for blacks. Wait till year two when more blacks are buying homes, they're buying cars, they've got more expendable income, and they're just feeling better. But folks, let me tell you, this is DEFCON 1 for the Democrats. They are so afraid. I don't know what they're going to do, but this is, is as, as scared as they can get. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177 or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com.